Hey there, this is John from Stormy Studio and this is a quick how to use video for um, our new point and click inventory template. Sorry there's been a bit of a delay in making this, I uh, recently moved house and the beach is down the road which is quite tempting when I'm supposed to be working. So uh, here we go. Um, I haven't tested running through this yet but hopefully it'll all go okay. So from the outset let's go home, there we go, so here's your list of scenes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, your actors, so there's not many actors for the whole game so far, um, and tables. And here we have a table inventory. So this you can leave alone completely as this will get updated as you collect and use items. So that's taken care of by rules in the game. Uh, collectibles, these are items uh, that can be collected. So if you want to add something else into the game, um, you'd uh, reference the row number here and you can give it a name which if you want to can be called up in the inventory and this can be left as it is and the image uh, column here is populated um, as a scene loads um, just so uh, if the item's collected it will know the image reference to show in the inventory okay uh, satchels uh, this is for the different size satchels that you can collect um, at the moment I think it's just small and medium or small and large um, obviously you could add more to your game um, using similar rules that are already in place just duplicate them and ref again reference the uh, row number table text and here we have all the different text that's shown in the game so if you add another box just simply use reference the row number row number choose how many seconds you want it to, to display it doesn't have to be three you can chuck two in or ten or whatever you like um, here you can have your text let's quickly make a new one now so, row 22, show it for, show it for 4 seconds. Um, ooh, that looks... Hold on, Alt and Enter. Um, option. Spell interesting properly. Ooh, that looks interesting. Let's get some, there we go. Ooh, that looks interesting. Um, and then this is just your descriptive column. So... You can call it whatever you like. This is only for your own personal reference. I seem to have forgotten how to spell interesting. Interesting box. Yeah, call it whatever you like. Um, and then this, again, you can leave it at zero, and that's taken care of by rules in the game. And lastly, you have game states. And this is to allow you to save things in the game. So there's the left door and the right door, um, which get uh, different open positions, uh, closed, opening and activated. Again these are taken care of in the game um, but tables um, are constantly saved so it makes sense to use those rather than a save key. Um, that should all be working well and obviously you can add more things as you build a proper game. So um, yeah, unlock more doors, activate secret caves or whatever. Cool. main menu. Okay, so main menu, you've um, got your two actors here which uh, have some simple rules in which will take you to the next scene. Play button works, the options button doesn't go anywhere, it's just there as an example. Um, and in here uh, we have the rules, that's your scene size detector. So there's one of those on every scene, so if you're using a different device, if you're using an iPad instead of an iPhone or iPhone 3G instead of an iPhone 5, the screen size will adapt and things will be arranged appropriately. Um, okay, this scene. Okay, here we have um, the first scene that you arrive at, the two doors. These are our text boxes. So we could um, add another text box. Let's, let's go for an invisible one. Check it over here. Double click. Okay, so straight away I've forgotten. Here we go. Text message. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while since so I've moved house, but uh, try and remember what's going on. Um, so you set your text message row number that it's referencing. So that references the uh, little text we wrote. Um, it can be a custom text box or a non-custom. If you leave it as zero, it'll be a non-custom. And so when you click on it, um, let's just quickly test that, shall we? If you click on it, you play. So over here somewhere. There we go, it pops up, it's non-custom, so it arrives at the top of the screen in a default position. 
Um, if you're on an uh, early iPhone, or any iPhone actually, uh, it, all text boxes will be default ones found at the top of the screen. Um, that option can be turned on and off pretty easily using the rules. So let's go back to this uh, invisible text box we've added. Um, let's make it customizable, and then you can set the X and Y position. So I'll show you what it's doing. Press play, click over here. So you click it and it draws a lovely line and the box pops up. But obviously it's a long way away from where we're clicking, so it looks a little bit odd. Or interesting, depending on what you're after. But say 400, that might be okay. Text Y position, if we just drop down the position of our text box, you can see it's 200-ish pixels high. So let's call this 260. Let's make that slightly more to the left, 360. Preview, press play, press our text box. There we go, it's drawn it there. We need to play around with the rows, um, with the layer numbers, layer order, so the uh, text box would be above that inventory. But obviously, someone would collect that first, it's far too tempting. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so that's that. Um, let's go back in here. Should we, let's try and add another collectible. Um, what images have we got to hand? Okay, let's make. Um, let's see. Again, it's been a while since I've done this. So this is a new collectible. Drop it over there. Called, give it a key. It doesn't have to be a key. Um, go to tables. Go to our collectibles. Let's add another row. Number row seven. Let's call this test key. That's all you need to do. Back, go back to our scene. Double click on our key, you can leave it locked, um, scroll down, text message, it needs a custom text message, we can, we'll leave that for now. Item number, item number 7, preview, play, get your inventory, and voila, we have a key that's fully selectable, let's leave the scene and go back, and the key is no longer there, and it's still in your inventory, it's that simple. Um, and obviously, just go back um, within this key or within any collectible that you add. Give it an item number. Um, you can leave the custom text number stuff. That's just left over from um, different rules. Um, text message. So again, you might want to give it a custom text message. Let's go for our new interesting one. Play. So without the inventory collected, it won't collect. Press the inventory. Collect the item. Ooh, that looks interesting. And again, you can play with the X and Y positions of that. So earlier on when I said you can ignore these, in actual fact you don't have to, they actually do generate a text box. I'm talking rubbish. Um, so yeah, you can play around with that. Let's turn the custom text box off and just check that works for you. You found a new inventory. There we go, default text box. The lovely line drawn. Okay. Um, quickly see if I can do a new scene at the same time. I'm trying to be quick before anyone else gets home because I'm currently talking to myself in my own lounge like a crazy person. Um, okay, let's quickly find a backdrop. That's the backdrops, chuck it in, crudely position it. Um, well, let's choose that image. Okay, so the image you've seen before. Um, so to make the scene work, you have that scene, which is your backdrop. Let's give it another layer, put the layer on top just to keep things tidy. We need a text box. We need a line that's drawn. Leave it off the side. We will need a. Uh, let's have a collectible. We need an inventory controller. Um, that's that. I don't need any text boxes. Don't really need any collectibles just yet. Oh, let's chuck a collectible in. Drop a collectible in. Chuck a key image on it because we've got it to hand. Give it a item number, 7 was the new one we made. Text message 22, let's go back. Um, so we've got our text box, text line, a backdrop, collectible uh, inventory. You wouldn't need that in a normal scene because you would probably collect it already in an earlier scene. Um, doorways, we'll leave the doorways for now. They're fairly self-explanatory. Uh, scene size detection, you have that in every scene. And a home button. And depending what sort of scene, if there's no way you can click through a door or the image doesn't allow you to click to your previous scene, you could add a back arrow. But we won't we won't do that for now. Preview. 
So hopefully, press that. You found the new inventory. I put it, positioned it rather poorly. Um, collect a key. There we go. So that's all working. Let's just work out why our inventory is down there. I'm not sure. I will check that. Um, iPhone landscape. Um, oh, we need to leave the scene and go back. Uh, that's why. Um, it would normally work, but because you can't leave the scene and come back, it won't. Um, let's make it iPhone landscape. Crop. Okay, that's it. We do it this way. Drop that up. Click as an inventory, and now it's positioned correctly. Change to iPad landscape. As you can see, things are positioned badly. There we go. Now it's in the right place. So yeah, if you were coming from an earlier scene, the scene detection would pop up and detect where it is, and it would all work fine. Phew! For a minute, then I was worried. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. A bit of a shambles, I know. Um, but yeah, hope this helps for those getting used to using the template. Um, let's quickly go through and collect some things. Get that key. Come through our locked door. Pick that up. That's the key we need. You've unlocked the door. Go through. Go through. Hooray, you found a bigger inventory. Woohoo! Found a gem. Cool. Okay. Um, so I hope that helps. Uh, any questions, just ping me an email over at john at stormystudio.com. Um, obviously, check out our website, check out our other templates um, available on stormystudio.com, and we've also got them available over at deepblueapps.com as well as a third party distributor. Cool. Thanks for looking. Uh, I now live near this beach, and this morning at lunchtime, actually, I went surfing. Very cool. All right, rock and roll. Bye.